Here we go. The junior sedan, New Stars Karina Classic is green. And Abby Peel gets to jump around the outside early. Darren Francis is going to go with her. Around the outside of the Bundaberg 23. They're going to be neck and neck in the back straight away. Vuchin holds on for second spot. So lightning start here to our new star, Karina Classic. Oh, it's Peel. And Vuchin go over those bumps in turn four. Francis got a bit of ground there on the 23 machine this time by. Has got Stewart all over the back of her. As they go through one and two, Stewart trying that low line now. Yeah, I spoke to Taryn today out there before Dane about the smart and smooth line that Taryn chose in that final heat race. And they spoke about just trying to avoid those bumps. And when you can get the all four wheels on the ground, the car seems to go a lot quicker. So she's going to try and keep it on the smooth stuff. And make her way forward right now. Hayden Stewart is the one who's starting to challenge her for that third spot. But now Vucci up the inside of Peel. Great move down the inside, exiting turn two. Peel trying to fight back on the outside. Can't do it this time. Francis stuffed the uh, advances of Stewart in turn two as well. And got a bit of a gap back there. But it's Jack Vucci, your leader now. In what is his first time lapping a junior sedan. At the biggest junior sedan meet of the season. Unbelievable talent on display right now all across this field. The Bundaberg 23 coming leading from the Bundaberg 10. Now the Gippy 5 of Francis is trying to find a way past. Fellow Gippy driver, oh. that car of Spence, that was close. Hayden Stewart very wise there to back out of that one. Yeah, that could have been uh, a monster accident, but Stewart, great job to avoid it. It's lost too much ground to the leaders. As I say that, and Vucci now disappearing from Peel in the Bundaberg 10 car, running a good second, but she's about to come under some pressure for the Gimby 5 now. Yeah, Darren Francis has fared away, finding a smooth line through them like we're saying. Hayden Stewart's going to challenge her once more on the inside of one. But three turns number two, Darren gets a good, good exit. Going to battle it out by the time he gets to turn number three. Lap traffic's going to play a part in this one, Brendo. Absolutely. The juniors have run pretty cleanly all night, but lap traffic always plays a part. Oh, as the 61 emerges, looks like it's got an issue. Flat tyre perhaps, but she's retired to the infield and we'll stay green. But it's all the Bundaberg 23 right now. This is what you want to see, folks. This is good quality grassroots racing all across the podium. This is fantastic stuff from these guys. Like we said, between the ages of 11 and 16 years old, they're, putting, they're showing some real experience across the field. Oh, absolutely. And uh, it's not just racing. You see, when they when they get their actual licenses, these guys are some of the best drivers on the road. The stuff you have to deal with and the awareness you've got to have on a racetrack really helps in day-to-day -day driving, as we just saw some of that needed to negotiate the slower car of Head King. Yeah, unfortunately, Francis were caught on the outside there in the slower car. Good kick. Do it now. Up in the third. He's the second. And he chases down Abby Pitt. Vujic, though, check out our front. Yeah, he's made a good pass on one of the slower cars there. Noel Peterson doing a great job. It is his first night out there, and he's keeping the pace with some of the mid-pack runners, so he's doing a great job, but look at the lead. Hayden Stewart has now. Brendo, have a look at that. Up into second spot now. Stewart has won, I think it's four or five feature races this season already. He will be wanting to make, adding another one to that, the Karina Classic. Like you just said earlier, Brendo, he's had a lot of racing here, especially in that XL. But he's found himself in the UK. He's liking his Francis up the inside of Peel. We're going to bang doors slightly. Francis back up to third spot. Great job by Francis, but Peel wants to fight back. In the Bundaberg 10, down the inside, she throws it. Gets good drive on the bottom of the racetrack. There is a lap car coming up for Francis on the outside. Oh, but we got one in the wall. Headkey. Oh, Headkey, huh? Well, oh, not too hard by the looks of it. He's been able to drive it away. Probably hit that bump down there in the bottom of four, and it's... Great. Green and classic, folks, for the Junior Sedans New Stars. None of the, the cars in this field have finished on the podium for it, so this is going to be exciting. Green flag, we're racing again.
very slow tank start from the 23. Stewart's hot on his hammer. As we go down into turn number one, Butcher with a good lead. Francis looking on that outside of Stewart, trying to get some drive. Can't do it this time. Down the back straight they come. A bunch of new pace as well as Hayley Spence, the Gimpy 21 car. Started towards a couple of behind a couple of cars, and uh, now she's in this battle for the top five. She's going to try and challenge Abby Peel if she can get closer to it. Speaking of Peel and challenging, she's the one on the move right now. Down the inside of Francis the Cup, bounces up and keeps it off Francis. Great driving by the two girls there. And they are side by side through three and four. Neck and neck, oh! One of the Rockhampton cars has yeeted itself off the grade down there. Thankfully, A-OK. I think that uh, might be young Eli down there, I think. We might have to go yellow. Quite a big jump there. Yeah, as in engine, Brendo, and there's a bit of a, a sewer grade down there that, of course, is needed for obvious reasons. But uh, Eli there just come on, got stuck on the infield out of the turn number two and try to keep it gassed up to try and get it Try not to lose too much time, obviously. I'm pretty thankful he didn't hit the track. Falling out more if you don't know already. Here we go, Brendo. Can't be too many laps left to run. Maybe Brayden can find out on his futuristic TV screen device. So, Jack and Hayden, our two starters, and oh, Hayden was close on the restart there, but Heel is close as well. She wants to take that second spot back. She's going to throw the Bundaberg number 10 down the inside of the Lancer in one and two. Gets good drive mid-corner. And she's gonna try and take this down the oh, back straight away. Rubbing doors the whole straight. That's gonna open the door for Darren Francis now as Abby slides it up in the second spot ahead of Stewart. And that's a ripper pass by Abby Peel. Fantastic racing right now. Now here comes Francis back to the outside of Stewart. Stewart is struggling to get it off the starts there, Bruno just can't get the momentum going, but after a few laps, tries to find, he finds his feet a bit more. But here comes Darren Fritz to the outside. Oh, oh, no, he gets it all crossed up. Gets a bit of a shot from Spence. They're three wide. Here comes Noel Peterson. Are you kidding me on debut? He is not a lap down, ladies and gentlemen. He is battling for a podium in his... ...of the Green Classic. Oh, and he's gotten to the rear of Stewart. And again... The commentator's curse strikes. 21 will find himself probably at the back. He was very excited. He wasn't going to lift. Lit up, I reckon right? he can hear me from, in, oh. from, from, from inside the cap. I'm here. I'm not, not going to lie. This start here. I reckon she's going to have a go at Spence in yep. turn one and I think Peel's going to do the same if they can get a good start. Lights out, the green comes oh, we're Spence. racing. Hayley Spence is the one who's charging early. Coming into turn one, who's it going to be? Oh, Jackie Boy still finds his ruts through one. Here we go, yeah, the battle's up. Oh, 67 car there. Slapping the wall. Managed to continue on but out front. Francis had a little bit of a look out the inside of Spence. Couldn't get it done there, now she's in the back bumper. I tell you, for those who think this is a male-dominated sport, have a look at your second, third and fourth runners here. They are just as quick as any junior sedan anywhere. And that Spence car was an absolute mess last time we came here. Yeah, some heavy damage on that car indeed. Brando's a rolled in the back straightaway, made some contact. And it's on the podium right now. This is good to see. The old man was on Facebook on the Sunday. <laughs> Who's got a shell for a charade? That's how keen they take this. It's now, Francis. On the move up the... A good racing line. Through three and four and go. Terrence got half a nose up and just loses the rear end, loses all the momentum. And momentum sways back to Haley Spence right now on the Gimpy 21. Abby Peel sitting there in second spot trying to pull a bit of a gap. Spence starting to close in here. Can't be too many laps to run. The lap car 
comes on to play out. Three cars battling for second spot. They've got a zig and zag. Peel and Francis goes down the inside. Spends a little way to the side. Over the ruts. Manages to keep it off the wall more importantly, Brendan. But here we go now. White flag is out. There's one more lap to go. Vucic checks out our front. The battle's still on for the podium, though. Abby Peel currently leading in second. Jaren Francis is the one in third. He's going to be challenging Peel by the time they get to turn three. She's up on her bumper. But your winner of your junior sedan new star, Karina Classic, Jack Voitshed. Great drive. Terrific all night. And it was on debut with Karina. And this battle for the podium places. Abby Peel's going to get home for two. Tan Francis third. Spence fourth. And she's pretty pumped with that too. He makes his way around for his first win here at Bundaberg. Put your hand up for him. The youngster in the Bundaberg 23, Jack Vucic.